Hello, this is Brian Jackson with NetGain Technologies, also Storage Comic on Twitter. I thought I would take a minute to share the unmapped functionality in vSphere ESX 5.5 and HP's 3PAR storage architecture. Now let's talk just a second about unmapping. Uh, Windows 2012, in, if enabled, will unmap automatically. Whenever you delete data, it will write zeros out and the HP 3PAR array which does thin persistence will zero detect those writes and give that space back. vSphere used to, and I believe as the story goes, and I may be wrong here, that one of the major storage manufacturers had issues with unmapping and uh, it may perhaps be a major storage manufacturer that has a vested interest in VMware. But they had issues with unmapping, so v VMware disabled unmapping starting in 5.0 or automatic unmapping rather so now you have to manually unmap and it's sort of an annoying task and i hope they enable it again soon <clears throat> i have a vSphere 5.5 update too it's friday april 10th so i am hanging back on 6.0 just for a little bit to see what happens and as you notice here on the three par i have a three par ssd lun 2 and that has roughly 16% of its space used. And it just so happens that in this 3PAR SSD LUN2, there is a virtual machine in it. It's not doing a whole lot. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that guy. And once he's gone, if unmapping were working in vSphere, I would be able to hit a refresh here. And you would see this 16% go back to zero. I hit refresh. I'm going to hit it one more time just to kind of show you there is nothing up my sleeve. So what you need to do is you need to log on to your your vSphere uh, ESXi server and you see my 3PAR SSD LUN2. You have a couple of options. You can do a uh, ESXCLI storage VMFS unmap dash L and L stands for label or you can do dash U and that's obviously the UID. Uh, I think the label is a little easier to type, so I'm going to go ahead and do the ESXCLI unmap for the label of 3PAR SSD 1-2. It takes about, I don't know, 20 seconds to a minute to run, and once it's done, I will hit refresh in the management console. Okay, so it completed, and we're going to go ahead and hit refresh in the management console, and we should see our 16% go to zero. That's it. It's pretty easy. The unfortunate thing about the unmap technique is you have to run it manually for each LUN that you have removed data from. And uh, that's something that I hope gets resolved soon. Hey, once again, Brian Jackson with NetGain Technologies, Storage Comic on Twitter. Have a great day.